paid overtime for this? Sophisticated looking guy. I know. He looks like he's a banker. He's sitting there waiting for somebody to give him a deposit. We're all borrowing money from him very soon. <laughs> Come on, Jenny. Okay. Where's Norma? Hi, Norma. Don't you get my picture now. You know the big butt. That's always what they want to get. You can turn it off anytime. You look a damper, man. Uh, Sue, Sue talked me into it. Thank you, George. To mom, George. George gave me orders. <laughs> Wave and act like you really like what's going on. Oh well, Brian. Oops. We're, thank you. Appreciate it. Mom, we got to get all this. Hey guys. Hey what? Hey, there's me. Hola. Hey, how are you, man? Full sausage. Now watch, watch me fall when I walk backwards, huh? Somebody get a good laugh. <laughs> Zooms on the top, in and out. Oh, I see. What I mean is, if there's something there you want to get, go for it. You were there for the whole Christian year, then after their kids come through, then they would be excused to go on into the varsity level. Now, for my our sophomore players, as we call your names, if you'll come down and come through the procession line here, and then you'll get your uh, your certificate. Uh, and after dinner, the we'll schedule calls for starting at approximately eight o'clock. Then we'll get into the special awards uh, at that time. So this session is just for the certificates and acknowledgments. So once again, if we call your name, we'll start down here and shake the hand. Now, also, what we want to start. First one, one, two, three.
Okay, our, our next one is uh, Brian Harris. One, two, three. <laughs> Okay, our next uh, receiver here is uh, Dan Plain. One, two, three. First, uh, these kids have siblings in the varsity room, so their parents are here. Really? Oh, that's good. Awesome. I, I, I couldn't make the game last night. I was in the papers. I went to the second one. I was in the red too. I said, there's one paper didn't say anything. Is there any varsity football player that has not signed? That's good. Is there any varsity football player that has not signed the footballs up here? Three footballs that need to be signed in this minute. We're going to start in one minute. If you've not signed it, please sign it now. More time, I'll take it. Huh? And one more time. Do I get to decide to do this? So then we finish up at 6 30, we'll all eat, and we'll just give out. The major awards for all three levels will be out of here, so hopefully we'll go quick. Uh, plan on it. We're going to try real hard to uh, do this as quick as possible. But I also feel like uh, these young men here have spent uh, hours and hours and hours. And um, you know, some people think the bank is so long, but I also don't think we should slight anybody and, and uh, not mention. Love. Without a doubt, he's one of the hardest workers on the team, and uh, you know, you, you would probably didn't see him in the game a lot, but that is no indication of, of what somebody does in the practice field, in the weight room, and uh, he definitely has, we weren't going to throw a fullback, so when he came back in, the fullback was going to catch the ball in the backfield. And then, uh, you know, we're talking about guys playing defensive end, and sure that next uh, Tuesday night, I, I can't think of any other person that scored back-to-back -back touchdowns on consecutive plays, one on offense, one on defense. And, Travis, uh, we're going to miss this guy. The last uh, two years, Mark, Mark came in, uh, I can't remember, I think like January or something. It's freshman. He didn't play professional football and he came in. Uh, guy I go up, surfer that wants to play football, and uh, said he kind of want to give a shot. You know, he was fairly strong and had no technique whatsoever. <laughs> then after about, I don't know, maybe a spring break or sometime, we had a heat wave, and he's, uh, he comes back, and he basically fried his whole body. Uh, his whole body was peeling, he burnt his whole body. Uh, second degree burns just from the sun. And, uh, him and uh, Jeff would kind of rotate to three and play a lot of, a lot of defense. Uh, a lot of special teams, Bobby's a big hitter. And uh, just a great, great kid. I mean. Uh, we all got the little different things, but uh, just enjoyable uh, to see guys who don't play as much as you know they want to, or obviously everybody can't play the whole time. And, and he's, like I said, talk about true character. The true character comes out. This guy always has a smile on his face. Always, Graham got low and went hard. They created havoc up front. Chris Harrison's quickness made it a little bit easier for those linebackers. Uh, our defense, our linebackers are really important. We always have. Good linebackers and successful defense, and the guys up front have great some things. And, uh, Matt went going hard and got after it. Uh, he created a lot of piles. And uh, a few times he stood up and did his uh, spinning uh, pirouettes. <laughs> and, uh, Josh and Mark were like 14 guys on it. But, uh, you know, Matt, <laughs> Josh, uh, probably without a doubt, in my mind, is uh, pound for pound. He's the toughest football player on our team. Again, all these football players, again, take, get a chance, look at some of these uh, pictures. I think this is great. Just uh, watching them, stuff that they're going to have forever. And, uh, Josh was uh, not only a leader of our defense called signals, but uh, in my mind, he was a leader of the team. Uh, 
times he said, I'm not sure if that's good or bad. At times, uh, most of the time, he was the inspirational leader. And uh, we went, or he went, and he got us fired up and, and kicked some fanny when we had to kick some fanny. I really think when uh, he started turning around towards the second half of the year, you know, Josh started taking over a little bit. And, uh, we're going to miss his uh, team, we're going to miss his leadership. And, to me, uh, you're looking at Edison football is all about. You're looking at a guy who's not that big, not that strong, not that fast, but loves the game and loves to hit. And he's a typical Edison linebacker. Those guys who just want to get after you and kick your fanny. So we're going to miss it. all those things about him. Josh Plank. Thank you. Chris played a lot for us as a junior. And uh, really, as a junior, we felt he was an overachiever. Kind of came out of nowhere and had some couple great games. This year, uh, you know, could have been, we had, you know, we had three or four guys, but I, I think one of the most consistent guys on the team uh, made some big plays, but the United Party didn't read about him a lot, he didn't you know, maybe get a million sacks, but steady, very steady, always around the ball, getting double to the line, harassing the quarterback. Uh, I just don't think guys in the last 10 years have performed much more consistent than Chris Harris did. And, uh, we're going to miss him the down three, I'll tell you that, getting after the quarterbacks. And uh, just had an outstanding, outstanding senior season, also an all-league football player. Chris Harris. <laughs> Bill Lang, senior. I guess I'm behind him. I'll try to speed up a little bit. Let's start with It's okay. It's okay. Okay, Bill Lang uh, did not play last year. And, uh, Great reasons, and uh, I've never really heard of him. He still stayed out there as part of the team. I think that's important. We had another young man do that this year. Turn it off. The individual that I'm going to be announcing, uh, records are Matthew broken. This young man has set two sophomore school records. Well, you did it well. 
Uh, I was a Utah League football player, great, great football player. Uh, kind of kid. Uh, I'd like to get more Lampson up here right now. Yeah. <laughs> recipient of the Wild Man Award. And if you can imagine what, what goes in my mind when I think of a wild man. I think of a guy that, you know, plays football with a great deal of interest. Come here. Probably disappointed that he didn't have as many catches as he would have liked. Hampered by that shoulder and other nagging injuries. I said, Rod, if there's any time you're going to have a great game, this is it. And you can see in his eyes, and he responded. And, uh, he, he blocked one of the best players. Captains, which are voted on by the team, uh, were uh, I think agreed upon by the coaches. So you, know, uh, you look at your program on the opposite side of the awards from the uh, program part, where it shows all the different gentlemen that we choose for captains. This is generally a, uh, we look at it as, a, as an honor from week to week. So following our marina game, we were doing a lot of soul searching. That's a as a coaching staff and as a team, I think as a school, unfortunately. And we talked about who we wanted to be captains, and we felt there were two individuals that we felt as a coaching staff could turn the, the team around, hopefully, and, and hopefully lead us into a position where we could uh, get into the CI playoff. And those gentlemen are Mark Lampson and Josh Clinton. Josh isn't intense at all, but uh, they complement each other extremely well. 
I enjoyed working with them well, and they're truly uh, our co founders for 1999. Tim Shaw, where are you?